Being attractive is great. Being really attractive is amazing. So with that in mind, I made a video the other day talking about the strongest magnets available for magnet fishing. And it caused a little bit of a stir because one of the magnets I featured comes in an unmounted form. So a lot of people were asking, how can I magnet fish with this? So with that in mind, I thought today I would take a few minutes and show you how you can create your very own super magnet. Now this is a great design because it not only functions as a magnet for magnet fishing, but you can unscrew this top, screw it onto a long pole, and use it for probing for relics from either a bridge, a boat, or while you're out walking. And it's a very simple design. There's only a couple components here, and I think most anyone can manage it. So, with that in mind, let's get started making you more attractive. All right, first let's have a look at the components we're gonna need to build this magnet. First component we're going to need is the magnet itself. This is a $31.95 magnet, I believe, from Brute Magnetics, two inches across uh, approximately. The second thing we're going to need is some JB Weld. In this instance, I chose the five minute, uh, 4,000 or so pound JB Weld. You want the strongest strength you can find, a two part epoxy. I recommend the JB Weld. Um, third, I'm going to need a drill. So here we go on the drill. I'm going to need an eye bolt. Now you can pick these up at the hardware store. This one in particular is from Brute Magnetics. And lastly, we're going to need a couple plumbing fittings, two plumbing fittings. Uh, the first one, I have the receipt here from yesterday, is a 2 inch FPT PVC pipe cap. And the second one is called an adapter, Schedule 40 PVC 2 inch SL2 MPT. I don't know what that means, but basically we've got a two inch gap here that this magnet will fit pretty much precisely into. Oh, watch your fingers. And then we have uh, the cap here that goes on and I've lubed this up a little bit because mine didn't want to go on So when you go in the hardware store, make sure yours comes off and on real easy This will enable you to unscrew this and attach it to a longer PVC type stick If you want to do some probing something like that with this magnet So with that, I think you guys can see where this is going, but we'll go ahead and walk through the next steps Step one remove magnet from. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and drill a hole through the cap of this PVC. Now you may need a pair of pliers if you don't have a vise. Uh, I don't have a vise sitting on this table where I'm doing this video, so we're just going to go ahead and do it this way and uh, pray for the best. I'm going to drill this a little hole. hole try and be as true to dead center as you can I was probably off a little but everyone knows I'm off a little so no surprises there now we're gonna use this uh, eye washer here make sure and get a large washer to go on the inside of this because this is where the bulk of your pulling strain is going to be occurring And we're going to screw this on. Now, another thing you're going to need is some thread locker. So we've got the red high strength thread locker and we'll go ahead and apply that onto here uh, when we're finished and make sure and lock this down and that way we don't end up losing our magnet. No matter how tight you make this, inevitably the current will make this unscrew and you will lose your magnet in the current. But for now we're just going to hand tighten it and move on with the rest of the process so that you guys can see what we're in for here. So the last remaining part of the process is basically just going to involve seating this magnet in here and epoxying it in place. Now I like to leave mine with about a quarter of an inch of the magnet sticking out. So in order to facilitate that, I'm going to probably have to put something across the bottom here 
and that will help fill the void with the PVC. So stand by just a minute. I'm gonna try and figure out something that will go around here just perfectly and hold the epoxy in place as I fill this. Okay, so what I've come up with is this self-adhesive closed cell foam. I think this is gonna work well because it will stick in there. It will help prevent the epoxy from getting in here so that I can unscrew this. And it will also, uh, the closed cell foam will kind of hopefully seal off the gap there and allow uh, us to keep from losing epoxy at the bottom. Now I probably should have done this step before I seated the foam, but it is what it is. I'm gonna go ahead and rough this up a little bit inside with some sandpaper to hopefully help this epoxy take hold in there and not lose our magnet here in the future. But the magnet on the end of my pick has been in there for five years now, epoxied in this exact same way. So I don't think we'll have too much of a problem out of this, but safety first is always a uh, good policy so just gonna rough this up real good that looks pretty roughed up so we'll call that good and with that we're gonna go ahead and let's see how this sits in here that's good it's got a little bit of a lip sticking out so i think i can live with that uh, is a tolerance. Now you don't want too much sticking out because these magnets are brittle and this PVC is actually going to act as kind of a sheath to help protect it. So the more of it that's down in there the better but we do want a tad bit of it sticking out. So with that let's go ahead and epoxy this bad boy up, get it in here and hopefully it will take. We'll be good to go. Okay I got a little stick here. Gonna go ahead and mix up the epoxy. In fact, I'm gonna just mix it right inside here. Couldn't hurt, right? Let's just squirt it out in here. Real good and thick. Oh, let's give it a good mixing up. This stuff sets up. Now this stuff sets up pretty quick, so I'm gonna go ahead and get some of it here. Keep it away from the dog, and apply it liberally around the sides of this magnet, being careful not to uh, touch it to my hands. Myrtle, stop moving the camera and stuff if you don't mind. I know it smells like a perm, but we don't need any of this in our lips, trust in me. Almost all the way around there. Okay, that seems pretty reasonable. And I'm going around the inside. And how am I gonna do this? Let's turn it sideways. Try and kind of slide her in there without getting any on my fingers. And then we go. Ooh, that fits like a glove. I like it. So with that, I think what we will do is leave that to set a little bit. Okay, it's been a couple hours and I think this is set up enough for us to go ahead and move on to the final step here, which I think is fairly obvious. We're basically just going to uh, Screw these two here together, and then you're gonna get yourself a carabiner and a rope. You're pretty much ready to go. That's a pretty low profile magnet. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little video on how to make your very own super magnet. It truly is a great little design, simple to build, multifunction, 
very light and strong as it gets. I know that Brute Magnetics is working on their own version of this design, and hopefully it will be out soon, but hopefully until then, this will hold you. If you're new to the channel, make sure and subscribe, hit the little notification bell, and like the video. It truly helps the channel out, and you'll get to see more content like this in the future. We're going to be doing magnet giveaways and other exciting stuff in the future that you might find useful. So with that in mind, I hope that this made you a little more attractive. You have a great day in the life, and we'll see you next time.